in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of missing files in Camtasia. If you have a lot of files, or maybe you tend to move things around, or maybe you're just a little bit disorganized, like me, I even have a folder called Too Short, then you might run into the following problem at one point. Over here, I have a project file that's titled VOC. So if I click on it, If I try to open the file, it's going to tell me that it's missing a file. If I don't update this, it's not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. When you click on OK, it's going to open up Camtasia. But the problem is, see how the files show up as question mark. Because it cannot locate the media on disk. So the problem here is I don't remember where the file is. So what you want to do is open up a notepad or Evernote, whichever you want. Assuming that you have not reformatted your computer at any point recently, you should be able to search for this file and find out where you moved the file or misplaced the file. So I'm going to go ahead and type down the file name. Okay, and then copy that. I'm going to search for it in my entire desktop. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on this PC and search this PC for that specific file. So my computer has found the file. It's located in this folder right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this file and then open file location. Okay, so over here we see a lot of files. This one, the one with the one, is the one that I need. What I'm going to do is to drop the recording file into the same folder as the project file. So if I do that, it's going to automatically recognize that. Okay, so this is one way to solve this problem. So let me go ahead and close this first. And the second way to solve this problem, let me put this back in this folder. The second way you can solve this problem is open up your project file. And then click on OK after you see the error message. And then select this file in your medium bin. Right click, update media, and then go to the folder that has this missing file. And you can click on this file and it's going to update this way. This is the second way you can solve this problem. What I'm going to do for my future recordings is to create a folder and save my project file and my recording file in the same folder. This way I won't run into the same problem again and it probably will keep my files more organized. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.